welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A and you guys have been asking for that for such a long time. And finally, I'm going to be doing my third one, I think it is, which is so freaking exciting. I love doing Q&As and especially like Snapchat Q&As because I get to see you guys as well and all of your beautiful faces. So I'm really, 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 really excited. So just, let's just get into it. <laughs> Open Snapchat. And if you didn't know, my Snapchat is right here. It's KamiFSC. So go at me so you can follow me on Snapchat. Mm -mm -mm. And there's so many questions this time. I'm so, so happy and excited. Let's start out with a major story. One, two, three. My question is, what's your favorite thing about living in Copenhagen or in Flexback? I saw you in my same this Friday. Oh, thank you so much! And I love you too! Thank you for being so kind! My favorite thing about living in Copenhagen now... Honestly, probably the vibe of this city and just the big city life in general. And already now I feel like after I've met so many amazing subscribers and people and... Everybody and everything is just so nice! <laughs> That's the thing, I mean, from where I'm from, people are nice as well, definitely, but... People are so friendly here, so open-minded, and you are allowed to be happy about being who you are and being, you know, like happy and positive and so on. Because I must say, where I'm from, we're a bit more low-key about being proud of ourselves. So you know, just I don't know, just being proud in general. People are just so open-minded, so happy for each other, and I just really like that. Of course, there's a lot of competition here as well. But people are just much more open-minded and everything is just okay. I just felt right at home from the very get-go of being here, and I've been here for like almost two weeks now, one and a half week, and I must say every day has been so amazing. People at my new job at Bobby Brown, they're so, so nice, and people from my management, they're amazing as well. Honestly, people are so, so nice to me, and I'm just so humble and so happy. I couldn't have had a better move or better starting out here in Copenhagen, so thank you so much. Hey Camille, it's Katya. I love your videos. You're so pretty. I just want to know what do you think the purpose of life is, and if you could live anywhere, where would you be? Great questions. Those were from Catcher1990. And um, meaning of life, um, wow, it's a big question. Um, I guess it would probably be to be happy, to live your life to the fullest. And my quote in life is just, there's nothing worse in life than being ordinary. And I truly live by that every single day. There's nothing worse than just being like everybody else. So my the meaning of my life is just to be me and to be happy and to pursue my dreams. And if I could live anywhere in this world, LA baby, you know me, LA or New York or London. Those would probably be my favorite places to be. But for right now, actually, I am so content and so happy about living in Copenhagen. I, I was kind of scared about living here because I was like, I've never really felt home in Copenhagen whenever I visited. But I must say, ever since living here for real, I, I'm in love. Next one is from Hila Musen. about my favorite meal um, and my favorite meal is probably I've said this before but pizza because I love how you can customize a pizza to whatever you want on it um, because personally I don't like a cheesy pizza I, I don't like cheese I know I'm, I'm that kind of person <laughs> but yeah I don't like cheese unfortunately so I always get a cheese free um, pizza also if I can get it whole wheat I want that as well and then my favorite toppings are actually just vegetables, like straight up just vegetables, artichokes, um, zucchini as well, onions, um, garlic, chilies, just stuff like that. Also tomatoes. Next one is from Philo Lilo. Philo Lilo? That's a fun name. Hi, I'm sorry for sending this boring video, but oh. I'm just wondering if you're going to the US this year. Love you. Oh, thank you. Love you too. And it doesn't matter about the boring video. I just much rather want to see your faces and listen to your voices. Um, but no, unfortunately, so far there's no trip planned or no vacation planned to the US this year because 
I've been spending my summer with the move obviously and spending my money on moving to Copenhagen. Moving is actually so expensive. I did not expect that when I just wanted to move but it is so freaking expensive. Not going to the US this year, it really hurts me. I just, I miss it already, but hopefully later on this year I can go to either New York or LA or something like that. Fingers crossed that it's gonna happen and I really wanna vlog that as well, obviously. I miss it so much. <laughs> Life is tough. That's what you call first world problems. Next is gonna be from Joseph Haber. Okay, I just wanted to ask how you got so good English when you're from Denmark. And I love you and your videos. Oh, you are so pretty! And thank you so much, I love you too! How did you get that good at English? Practice makes perfect! I've always been used to being um, teached in English because I did um, competitive dancing and almost all of the lessons that we had and so on, they were in English. So I've always been used to just expressing myself through my body, obviously through dancing, but also just through the English language, so it just came very very natural to me. I've said this before and I'll say it again, if I could I would probably much rather prefer speaking English all the time every single day, it just feels much more natural to me and there are just some words and some ways to express yourself that is so much easier in English than in Danish unfortunately, so it's kind of cray cray and some people they're like, oh come on, pull yourself together, it's not that difficult, oh you're just putting it on, it's just fake, blah blah blah. No, it's not. But if you want to improve your English, just keep on talking, really. I mean, sometimes when I'm back at home, this sounds so cray-cray. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but sometimes when I'm back at home and just on my own, not being with anybody, I talk to myself. <laughs> I speak English to myself because, you know, I'm just going, oh, where was that? Oh, what are we? You know, so just practice with yourself or with your friends or whatever because that's the best way to learn, to practice and, and speak it all the freaking time. I just told you something really cray cray. I hope you don't think that I'm cray cray for talking to myself. Next one is gonna be from Carol. Great question. Thank you so much. Oh, kisses to you again, Caro. Thank you so much. Honestly, you guys are the nicest people in the entire world. I know many people they say it, but honestly, I've got the freaking best subscribers in the entire world. How it is and about the noise and everything, actually where I live right now, it is so much more quiet. I live in a side street to a big street. That did not make sense at all, but I hope you get what I mean. The noise and everything is, is not really that bad. It's actually really, really nice and also because for like spam, it is actually much more quiet and much more green and just cozy. Um, but it's actually much more quiet here. Ow, ya crambe! Ah! My foot! Oh, cramps! Oh. Ugh, better. Sounds weird, but I love the noise. And I love that even though I live in Copenhagen now or Flexfair, it is just. It is still really cozy and nice and not too cray cray. Next is from Scurvy Lynn. Hi, Camilla. I'm gonna talk to my um, manager about that because I really want to do a meetup. I really want to meet you guys now that I'm finally in Copenhagen, where it's a bit easier for you to get to if you're from foreign countries. So let me know in the comment section down below if you would come to a meetup with me and if you're interested in that. I would love to meet you guys and say thank you and take photos with you and just hang out and have a good time. But I always need to know if you guys would come to such a meetup and stuff like that. So um, let me know in the comment section down below. But honestly. From me to you, I would love to do a meetup. Next one is from Melissa Teledov. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your names here, but I'm trying my best. Hi Camilla, I just wanted to know, um, what is your biggest dream in life? Oh, so beautiful. My biggest dream in life has always been to become a performer and to do the things that I love doing. Honestly, there's so many things going on right now in my life and I just feel like that I'm living 
my dream life because I'm doing so many amazing things and it really makes me happy. I guess the next big thing that I really want to happen in my life is to have someone to share it with. And this is very personal, obviously, but I am single. I've been single for such a long time now. Obviously, I've been on dates and so on, but it hasn't really been anything special to me. Um, so I feel like that all of the great things that are happening to me right now, I would love to have someone to share it with. And also, when I've got my bad or low days, I would like someone to be there for me and just... Just to have someone to love and cherish and just to be around, that would be really, really nice. Obviously, I've got my good friends and my family, but yeah, someone special in my life would be nice. But I feel like I'm living my dream life right now. I'm doing all of those nice things that I really want to do and in the future, there's just going to be so much more of that. Uh, next one is from Ida1D20. Hi, Camilla. So, the apartment you live in now, is that bigger or smaller than the last one? Bigger. Question is, really such a good YouTuber. I love all of your videos, especially the hauls. You have such good taste, by the way. Oh, thank you. Just feel how much effort you put in your videos. Like, they're so professional. Mm. Love you. I know that some days can be really hard, but remember, those haters are jealous of you. Like, are so much better than them, just remember they're jealous and they are trolls. Wow, many messages and many snaps, but thank you so very much. Before talking about my apartment, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support. I mean, yes, the life of a YouTuber is also that you get a lot of hate and a lot of ugly messages and just stuff like that. And it is very, very tough and I'm a very sensitive soul, so I've had a struggle dealing with all of those nasty comments if I must be honest but thanks to girls like you and people like you guys who are my subscribers you make me smile and make me not care about all of those nasty comments so just once again I thank you guys so much for supporting me all the way to where I am today and it really means a lot to me um, about my apartment <laughs> um, yes it is bigger a tiny bit bigger which really makes me so so happy it is very different from the last apartment that I had because this one is a bit more old and cozy and I actually really like it I can't wait to show you my entire apartment we've got Linda Barkey hello <laughs> Great question. If you want me to do an entire how to start a YouTube channel video kind of thing, let me know in the comment section down below. Not that I'm an expert in any way. Um, great tips for starting a YouTube channel. Oh, there's so many tips obviously and most of them you will have heard before because it's basically just the way it is. But my number one tip and the thing that I always stand by is try to be different. Once again, there's nothing worse in life than being ordinary, which means being like everybody else. So try to stick out in some sort of a way, try to have your own life, try to always be yourself, obviously, and do videos that make you happy and that you would like to watch as well. So to me, it's all about finding your niche and the thing that you like doing and just try to be different. Not in a cry cry way, but just, yeah, be you, obviously. And we've got for like it, God FR. Jeg har også And, um, well, let me just translate for you guys. This is so much fun. She's also from the northern part of Denmark, from a, a city or town, a town called Jørgen. And um, she was talking about something called Jørgen Sommerspil, which is a theater kind of thing that they've got in Jørgen. And, um, yes, it was me. <laughs> um, I've been a part of that thing for many years, Young Summer Spin, where I did some different parts. The latest thing that I was in was West Side Story, and um, yes, it was me. Uh, <laughs> I play Consuela, one of uh, Maria's good friends. If I can, I'll insert a clip right here of it, because it was so much fun. I loved it. I love theatre, and especially like musicals and so on. I just, it's my thing. I love it so very much. <laughs> Singing, dancing, 
dancing, all of that good stuff. And yes, that was me. So much fun actually, but um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, busted! But that was all for this video. Thank you so very much for all of the amazing snaps. Honestly, they make me so, so happy. I love seeing your beautiful faces. Once again, best subscribers ever! Like, subscribe, and also follow me on my Instagram. I think many of you guys who don't follow me in there, but definitely do because I post a lot of photos in there and I am an Instagrammer. I love Instagram. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else.